Hi, it's Joel again, and what I'm showing you now is glow painting on the iPad, what I call glow painting anyway. The app's called Art of Glow, which is here right at the bottom. So I'm just going to tap on that and show you this app. Now, I've got the free version here. Um, obviously, you can buy the full version to um, record and take the ads away and things like that, but we're just going to play for free. And to start off with, you can see there's nothing to see. It's black. Although, if the preps are very clever, they can see a little button at the bottom, and the bottom is for different options. But before I touch that, I'm just going to start playing with it and see what happens with my finger. I'm just going to draw an S. Oh, wow, look at that. So rainbow colours, star shapes, and beautiful little uh, animation there. And then just pressing on the options button, you can see all these different options that you can do. For example, shape, I'm going to tap on that. And you can do, it right now it's on this tiny little star, but there are other different shapes that you could use. So I could choose star, for example. Press done. Okay. Sorry, that's not star, that's love hearts. And so there you go. Um, other shapes as well, although you could just do cycle or random for each finger. That's quite clever. Um, or fully random. If I do cycle, and I just do a line here, and I do a line here. Every time I do a line, it's a different shape. Like that. I'm just going to press the Option button and press Clear. Now, what else can I do? Well, Color is also set right now at fully random, but you can choose to have just the same color, like this, for example. So if you just want green, right? Um, and then there's all these other different options down here about how much it blinks, what the speed is, what the lifetime is, size and amount and things like that. I tell the students, you've just got to play around with it and see what you like. Okay. So, you know, I could just do something like that. Okay. Let's see what that comes up. I'm going to go back to color and choose, um, fully random for the color. And I might choose, yeah, keep on cycle for the shapes. Just clear and start again. So let's try drawing a house. Oh, not as easy. Now it's more like a kind of game rather than a cohesive piece of art because I've been mucking around with the settings. So that would quite often happen. If it goes too far, you could always just do this and press default and go back to some, you know, the default settings and how it looks. There's my son. So anyway, what I say to the kids is this is iPad art. This is art that you can't do on paper. You can't make things on paper flush around and move around and things like that. It's something you can only do on the iPad, special digital art. Um, so I thought that was a nice way to finish off our unit on creating um, visual art on an iPad. So thanks very much for listening.